हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर टेस्ट ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री फ्रॉम द क्लास 9 एमएल अगरवाल बुक ओके सो हियर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम Three vertices of a rectangle are A, that is 2 minus 1, B, 2, 7, and C, 4, 7. Plot these points on a graph and hence use it to find the coordinate of the fourth vertex, that is D. Okay, so first you have to plot this point. So first here, 2 minus 1. So if you want to put this point in the graph, so here 2 minus 1 that means this point it's 2 minus 1 next one 2 7 okay next one it's 2 7 so this one 2 and 7 is 5 7 so this point is 2 7 after that 4 7 okay so next one 4 7 1 2 3 4 and then 7 so this one here 4 7 so now you can easily find out as your A, B, C, D is a rectangle, so the next point will be, that is the point D, that is 4 and minus 1. So the vertex, this one is 4 minus 1. So join this 4 vertex, then you will get the rectangle. Okay, so it's one here A, B, C and D. Here the rectangle. Now, the next part, also find the coordinates. So, first here, the midpoint of BC. Okay, you have to find out the midpoint of BC. So, this one is the midpoint of BC, this point, the purple one or the pink one. So, as here, the coordinate of B, coordinate of B is 2, 7 and coordinate of C is 4, 7. So, you can find out the midpoint by applying the formula here. 4 plus 2 by 2 and 7 plus 7 by 2. So that one equal to 4 plus 2, it's a 6. 6 by 2 is 3, so 3 comma 7. Next one, midpoint of CD. Again, apply the same formula. So 4 plus 4, it's 8 by 2. 7 minus 1, it's 6 by 2. That means here 4 comma 3. Okay, 4 comma 3 is the midpoint of CD. Now, the point of intersection of the diagonals. Okay, so in the rectangle, the two diagonals are bisect each other. So if two diagonals are bisect each other, then just find out the midpoint of BD or AC, any one. So if you want to find out the midpoint of BD, so here the midpoint of BD is 4 plus 2, that means 6 by 2. And 7 again 6 by 2 that means 3 comma 3 so 3 comma 3 is the coordinate of the point of intersection of the two diagonals two diagonal means this one this one and this line so this is the point of intersection of these two diagonals okay it's a very easy problem now here the last one what is the area of the rectangle so to find out the area, first here you have to find out the length and breadth of the rectangle. So here the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay. Here the length is 8, okay, 8 unit and the breadth is 2 unit. So if the length is 8 unit and breadth is 2 unit, so 8 into 2, that one equal to 16 square units, that is your last answer. 16 square units. Now, next one, question number 2. In question number 2 here, 3 vertices of a parallelogram are, so first here I write down 3 vertices. Just hold on 1 minute. Okay, so here the 3 vertices are A, 3 comma 5, then B, 3 comma minus 1, and after that C, it's minus 1, minus 3. Plot this point on the graph paper and hence use it to find the coordinate of the fourth vertex. 
okay so again you have to just plot down the point here as same as the previous one okay so first point here 3 comma 5 3 comma 5 so 1 2 3 then 5 this one so this one is your first point 3 comma 5 okay next one is 3 comma minus 1 so again 1 2 3 and this one is minus 1 3 comma minus 1 okay next one it's minus 1 minus 3 so minus 1 1 2 3 this one 3 okay now you have to find out the fourth vertex so first here you have to join this one clear okay so here the next one will be here minus 1 and then 1 2 3 so the fourth vertex is minus 1 and 3 so this one is your parallelogram okay mark it as a b c d okay so the coordinate of the fourth vertex that is minus 1 comma 3 now also find the coordinate of the midpoint of c d so you know the coordinate of c that is minus 1 minus 3 so if you know the coordinate of c and d both so now you can easily find out the coordinate of c and d so here c minus 1 minus 3 and d is here minus 1 3 so the midpoint here the midpoint is minus 1 and then plus again minus 1 so it's minus 2 by 2 and here minus 3 plus 3 0 by 2 so here minus 1 comma 0 this one is the midpoint of c d okay now what is the area of the parallelogram so to find out the area of the parallelogram here first you have to find out which one you have to find out first you have to find out the formula so what is the formula for the parallelogram that is base into height okay base into height so first here you have to find out the height of this parallelogram so this one will be your height okay 1 2 3 4 okay 4 unit is the height and here the base base is ab so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 is the base 4 is the height so 6 into 4 that will equal to 24 square units this one is the area of the parallelogram okay now next one so for the next one number 3 in number 3 here draw the graphs of the following linear equation so first one here y equal to 2x minus 1 okay so first here in that case you have to make this box write down here x and y so now here the value of y is dependent on x okay so first you have to let the value of x and with respect to have to find out the value of y but you have to remember that each and every value should be a whole number okay it might be positive number or negative number but never be in fraction okay so if i let if x equal to 0 so y equal to 2 into 0 minus 1 that means minus 1 so if x equal to 0 then y equal to minus 1 now next one if i let x equal to 1 then y equal to 2 into 1 minus 1 so it's 1 so if x equal to 1 then y equal to also 1 and if x equal to 2 okay so 2 into 2 4 minus 1 that will equal to 3 x equal to 2 and then y equal to 3 so now you have three coordinates first one is 0 comma minus 1 second one 1 comma 1 and then 2 comma 3 now you have to plot this three point in your graph paper okay so this is the rough sketch so first one 0 comma minus 1 
so 0 comma minus 1 so which will be this one is the 0 comma minus 1 okay sorry not this one it's on the axis so this one 0 comma minus 1 so rough sketch so just hold on this one okay 0 comma minus 1 this point is 0 comma minus 1 next one 1 comma 1 so 1 and then 1 1 comma 1 after that last one 2 comma 3 so you have 2 and 1 2 3 so these three points okay so after plotting this point you have to just join these three points with the help of scale okay and now mark the point your first point second point third point in this way okay so this one is your straight line that is y equal to 2x minus 1 okay y equal to 2x minus 1 this one is your straight line okay now also find the slope and y intercept of this line so here the slope you know the formula y equal to mx plus c now if you compare this equation with y equal to 2x minus 1 then here m equal to 2 so slope equal to 2 and y intercept that is minus 1 so your first answer slope equal to 2 and y intercept minus 1 now the next one sub number 3 2 here the equation is 2x plus 3y equal to 6 okay so first here 3y equal to 6 minus 2x then y equal to 6 by 3 it's 2 minus 2 by 3 x or you can just write down directly in this y uh, so y equal to here 6 minus 2x by 3 okay y equal to 6 minus 2x by 3 now just make the table x by y so here also the value of y is depend on x so if x equal to 0 if x equal to 0 then it will be 6 minus 0 by 3 that means 2 now if x equal to 1 then it will be 6 minus 2 that means 4 by 3 it's not possible okay because 4 by 3 is a fraction so next one next one here uh, if x equal to 3 okay if x equal to 3 then 6 and 2 into 3 again 6 so 0 by 3 so if x equal to 3 it will be 0 by 3 then 0 clear and the next one if x equal to 6 so 6 minus 2 into 6 by 3 that means here minus 6 by 3 it's minus 2 so if x equal to 6 then y equal to minus 2 clear so now here the coordinates 0 comma 2 3 comma 0 and 6 minus 2 so now you have to draw the axis first okay so first point here 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 this one next point 3 comma 0 so 1 2 3 this point and after that 6 minus 2 5 6 minus 2 this point so now you have to join these three points and by the scale so first point second point third point okay so this one is your straight line now again you have to find out the slope so to find out the slope so y 3y equal to 6 minus 2x then y equal to here minus 2 by 3x plus 2 that means m equal to minus 2 by 3 okay if m equal to minus 2 by 3 so here the slope is minus 2 by 3 and next one y intercept that is the constant part that is plus 2 so y intercept is 2 and the slope is minus 2 by 3 so i hope you can solve the next one that means 2x minus 3y that one equal to 4 first write down 3y equal to 2x minus 4 then y equal to 2x minus 4 by 3 okay now just 
try the value of x just put down the value of x and you will find out the value of y then just plot the point and you will get your straight line okay